Hello and welcome friends. Index number. In our last lecture, we discussed about current year and base year. And at the end of the lecture, the concluding part was there are two methods of determination of base year and they are called fixed base method and chain base method. Now let's discuss about fixed base method. What do we mean by the word fixed base? Fixed base that means the base year is kept fixed for a series of years until we determine a new base year. Yes, what is the meaning? In fixed base method after select, selecting the base year, it is kept fixed as base year for few or many years until we select another year as base year. So for some years, the base year is kept fixed. Let us take an example. We have data of production of goods for the years from 2013 to 2019. Let us suppose that a factory was established and it started functioning from the year 2013 and now we have data of production of goods by that particular factory or industry for the time series from the year 2013 to 2019 and we want to analyze okay that means we want to compare the say production quantity or production value for all these seven years let's select 2013 as base year. Why should we select 2013 as base year? Because that is the first year of the data. Normally when a time series is with us and if the first year itself is with stability, that means without any undue fluctuations in the values of the variable, then it is advisable to select it as. And in the examination, if there is no specific information about taking the base year, then I advise the students to take the first year of the data as the base year. Mostly it doesn't happen, but may it is a possibility that somehow it is not stated in the question that which year is to be taken as base year, particularly in case of index number, then it is advisable to take the first year as base year. If the problem is to be solved through fixed base method. If it is specifically stated that you need to use the chain base method, then there is no need of giving the information about base year. But that we shall discuss in future lectures. So in this case, we take the year 2013 as base year and find index number for all the years from 2013 to 2019 with respect to 2013. Then in this particular example, 2013 is our fixed base year for all the years under study. That means from 2013 to 2019. So in this case, for all the years 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19, we keep 2013 as base year. That means base year for the whole data remains fixed 2013. That's why it is called fixed base method. So in a nutshell, fixed base method means the base year is kept fixed for the whole time series under analysis or under consideration or under study. Okay, now how to calculate index number under a fixed base method? So it is common logic to find out the index number. Value for the current year divided by value for the base year that is 2013 year multiplied by 100 to get the percentage because index number is the ratio of value for current year to the value for base year and to make the comparison and understanding easy we prefer to have the index number as percentage that's why we have to multiply the ratio by 100 let's calculate for this data here 2013 is our fixed base that means in all cases the denominator will be the value for 2013 that is 36 all these value will be divided by 36 and multiplied by 100. The result will be index number. For the base year itself, it always remains 100. That 
means as if the production value for the year 2013 or base year was 100 what happens in all other years that is the logic of this analysis basic thing for 2013 what shall happen 40 divided by 36 multiplied by 100 see it remains 36 because fixed base 2013 remains the base year and it comes to 111.11 that means if we take production in 2013 is 100 index number is free from all units of measurement so 100 means 100 111.11 means 111.11 no unit of measurement will be attached if we take the production as 100 in the base year in the year 2014 it was 111.11 that means in the year 2014 there was growth of 11.11 percent in production as compared to 2013 this is the interpretation of this index number of 111.11 now let's calculate for 2015 value for current year 48 value for base year remains one uh, 36 yes into 104 percentage and it comes to 113.133.33 yes the interpretation of this index number is as compared to 2013 in 2015 the production was 133.33 percent that means in the year 2015 there was growth of 33 percent 33.33 percent as compared to the year 2013 let's calculate for 2016 the value for current year is 52 value for base year remains 36 fixed base into 100 you can also use the bracket yes okay it comes to 52 divided by 36 into 100 means 144.44 that means in the year 2016 the production was 44.44% more than the production in 2013. Yes, almost one and a half times. In the year 2017, value for current year is 60, value for base year remains 36, fixed base method, all into 100 or ratio into 100, that is the percentage index number and it comes to 166.67. Yes, growth rate of two-third of the production of 2013. In the year 2018, it comes to 80 divided by 36 into 100. Yes, now it is more than double, 222.22. And for the year 2019, it will be 95 divided by 36 into 100 263.89 all these are percentages with respect to 2013 production is production in 2013 is equivalent to 100 percent and as compared to 2013 these are the production index numbers yes so this is fixed base method the base year remains fixed for all the years under consideration while calculating the index numbers for all these years. Yes, again I hope that this proves to be very useful lecture for you and the concept of fixed base method is clear. It, after watching this lecture, don't forget to like this lecture, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to suggest my channel. That's it. Thank you very much.